What's up, YouTube? Midnight Crawler back up in this piece, and it's that time for a DVD and Blu ray pickups video. We're gonna kick things off with the horror and the sleaze first, and the untold story. An unearthed classics release on Blu ray, and man, it looks fantastic on blue. I'm telling you, man, this was awesome. Really enjoyed every second of this on my TV, and man, it still holds up. Here's the inside in case you're curious. Highly recommend you check out this film and pick it up as soon as possible. If you're a fan of Category 3 or just horror, definitely one that needs to go in your collection. Uh, what's really cool about this release, it also comes with a documentary, full feature documentary. Uh, it's called Category 3, The Untold Story of Hong Kong Exploitation Cinema, which uh, I really enjoyed watching that. You know, so you could be a newbie to Category 3 or a veteran and still be pretty entertained by that doc. But, man, this looked fantastic, though, man. Great transfer. High quality, good stuff, man. I'm really looking forward to what they do with uh, the Evil Dead Trap. They're going, they're doing good things out on Earth. And if I had to pick another movie for them to release, it'd have to be this bad boy right here. Anthony Wong and Ebola Syndrome. It really needs a Blu-ray release. Please make it happen, Mr. Bureau. All right, let's continue on with the horror pickups and the and the sleaze. Uh, let's kick things off with some Japanese uh, cinema. We have Another Heaven. This was a recommendation from an awesome YouTuber named Asian Cinema Enthusiast. He had recently picked this up, gave it the thumbs up, and uh, I pulled the trigger. Found it on Amazon pretty cheap. Wow, this movie did not disappoint. Uh, it's about a serial killer who is breaking necks, scooping up brains, and cooking those brains in a variety of dishes with the police hot on his trail all kinds of shit goes down and there's some crazy twist that i can't give away because it'll fuck up the movie experience for you but man this movie it really surprised me man it's pretty damn good and it's a one that flew under my radar never heard anybody talk about this one until recently and uh yeah really stoked to have picked that up Next up, Hell Cage, Inmate 611 Part 2. Now, this is one I had to pick up because I really enjoyed the first part, which uh, you saw the last update. It's just your basic uh, women in prison uh, cheese with a dash of sleaze. As you see, see there on the back, you get a variety of sex scenes. But uh, yeah, man, this one was just uh, a little bit more of like what you saw in the first part, except it followed a different inmate from the same cell block. And uh, yeah, I'm a sucker for these types of films. Uh, just, just, they're pretty enjoyable for me, man. <laughs> All right, we have a Walmart pickup next. We have Critters Attack. And uh, this one was fun, man. I like the fact that they use uh, practical effects throughout, you know, throughout the film. And it's something that I could definitely watch with my younger niece and nephew. It's, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit tame, but, uh, you know, it's still, it's still fun, man. It's like watching a sci-fi channel flick. But it was pretty, but it, but it was decent. <laughs> All right. Here we got a pawn shop pickup. We have Jigsaw, and uh, I'm a big fan of the Saw franchise, as I have all the films on Blu-ray, minus this one, so I had to pick it up. And uh, this is one I did see before. Not the greatest, but it's not terrible. It's it's in the middle, man. It's still fun. Now, this one I will get some flack for, I'm sure. Picked up a Nightmare on Elm Street on Blue for only 2 bucks because I was curious to give it another another go, you know? Now that I've watched it three times, I'm still like at a six out of ten, to be honest with you guys. I don't hate it, but I think it's just okay. And there you go. That's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm not gonna give that one too much too much more uh, coverage. All right, but I definitely want to jump into my Dollar Tree horror pickups as I'm really enjoying watching what everybody else picks up at Dollar Tree. Here's what I picked up recently. First up, we have Dead Mind, which kind of uh, surprised me. I did not know this was horror, but this is like an action horror flick where you have like a scientist that are like have some mercenaries take care of them as they investigate a mine in Malaysia. Come to find out it's a bunker used by the Japanese in World War II and they were doing some experiments in there, but they're actually looking for Yamashita's gold and it's being a... Um... So all kinds of shenanigans go down, but... You have some mutant like test subjects in there that are trying to take them out. 
kind of reminiscent of the descent at times and you also have like these super soldier samurais towards the end of the film where things really start picking up so i i really enjoyed that part of the film uh the first hour is just a little slow burn in there uh you do have some miki mizuno in there though she's pretty she she uh makes things pretty entertaining as her acting's pretty good but uh the last the meat and potatoes like i said is gonna be the last 20 30 minutes of this film so it wasn't completely terrible just okay all right here's one i'm happy to finally have a physical copy of i saw the devil i actually ordered this on amazon years ago on blu-ray and my copy came like squashed and broken and just in pieces man i don't know what the usps did with it what <laughs> did with it man but uh they amazon did give me a refund i ordered a mutant girl squad on blu-ray instead <laughs> so to find this dvd for a buck i immediately scooped it up and man this movie still holds up man 10 out of 10 just a fucking masterpiece south korean horror oh, i loved it all right now next one is one i was really curious about because i had heard a lot of people say lots of good things about and man this one this one did uh deliver man i really dug the atmosphere though man that's what really sold me it really sucked me in it made it feel like i was like watching a uh western rpg but in movie form and um uh, yeah man some good stuff in here, man. Really good stuff. Headhunter really enjoyed it. All right, next up we have the Belko Experiment. Now this one, this is one I saw a while back, and I it was just tons of fun, man. Balls to the wall, uh, violent action, uh, horror, and yep, watched it again. Still holds up, man. Just a lot of damn fun, man. Office space meets um, battle royale, I guess. All right, next up is Storage 24. This is one that my homeboy, Dual Boy, had picked up recently. He gave it a thumbs up. So I was really curious to check this out as it's a creature feature. And, um, you know, this one was okay, man. It, 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 had some, it had some fun moments. The creature was pretty cool looking. Uh, there's some CG that kind of bogs down the experience. But um, the atmosphere was okay. Uh, it does get a little bit predictable towards the end. But still, nonetheless, I had fun with it. Now, this is one I just picked up for shits and giggles. Rise of the Gargoyles um, from the Man Eater series films, which would probably make them sci-fi channel films. But uh, this one was okay. Uh, not terrible. Uh, down the middle. Nah. I'll just say it's a 5 out of 10, to, to be totally honest with you guys. Uh, you get your gargoyle who is um, CG, and he is she is uh, looking for her stolen eggs. Uh, it's just, it's, it's what you think it is. Sci-fi channel, uh, shitty, bad, but fun kind of movie, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. I was down the middle, like I said, with that one. All right. So next up will be my non-horror pickups. Continuing with the Dollar Tree haul, we have Legend of the Tsunami Warrior. This was a Thai, Thai epic right here. Action epic. What was really cool about this is this guy, he has like some Aquaman abilities, man. He can like stay underwater for long periods of time, and he can also communicate with sea life, like fish and uh, the whales. And you also have some Pirates of the Caribbean kind of like thing going on as well. I dug it, man. It was a uh, lots of fun, man. It really surprised me how how much I was going to enjoy this. Continuing with the Thai films, we have Vanquisher. Now this one I thought was going to be some Bays with Blades action throughout sadly it did not deliver for like the first hour and 10 minutes but the last 20 is when you finally get the babes and blades start going at it full throttle and it did make it like enjoyable but like i said man the first hour and 10 minutes are just a pain to get through it's like so it was pretty disappointing on that aspect but five out of ten if i had to rate this one another five out of ten will be steven seagal and attrition which, man, you know, I had heard some decent things about this one. And um, I was really looking forward to checking out because uh, Louis Fo, uh, what's his name? I'm pretty bad at uh, saying uh, pronouncing Chinese names. But Louis Fan Su Wong is in this. He's right here. Better known for his role in Ricky O. So I was stoked to check him out, man. I dig him. Uh, he's okay in this. Uh, like, 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 just like the, the film before this one, Vanquisher. Um the first hour and 10 minutes are a slog to get through, but the last 20 minutes is where the meat and potatoes are with action sequences and action set pieces and what have you. So, yeah, not com not a complete loss, I'll put it that way. <laughs> All right, next up we have a big lot score. It's a South Korean remake of Johnny Toe's Drug War, Believer. 
this one was pretty damn good. Uh, if you've never seen Drug War, you can just watch this one and still still uh, be thoroughly uh, entertained. Uh, some really over the top characters in this, and some good uh, cops versus uh, versus gang uh, versus gangs and drug dealers kind of uh, goodness in here. Believer, good stuff. Next up, we have a punch up pickup, Paul. Now, I picked this up basically because Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are in it. I mean, they're a hilarious duo. Plus, you got an alien in here, and also, there's a lot of comic book humor. So, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Uh, yeah. And we're going to end things with a pickup from my dad. He hooked me up with Batman the Killing Joke, which uh, I'd seen a while back. I thought it was okay. You know, it's not as good as a graphic novel, but. Still pretty cool to see this animated version, their take on the graphic novel with some unnecessary, with an, a, a beginning, an intro to the movie that uh, that's kind of unnecessary, that really doesn't give the graphic novel any justice. But regardless, still okay, still enjoyable. And if I have to rate this, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. But that's going to be it, guys, for my DVD and Blu-ray pickups. The star of the show, none other than The Untold Story. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again very soon. Peace.